welcome back to my channel i would like to begin by saying i'm so sorry like i know i haven't recorded in a very long time i just been so busy for its semester really took a toll it was such a hard semester and then fifth semester while well, i focused on studying for exa trying to graduate so i'm sorry i've been entirely busy but this video is to tell you guys um how i study for my exit exam because this is a highly requested video um i did get a 1024 in my exit exam which converted to what did i say <laughs> okay so i got a 1024 on my exit exam which converted to an 89.89 percent conversion score my school did require to pass the exit um to get a 900 and above so i did pass on my first try thankfully um and i took the hesi like i, I said before i took the hesi because i know there's ati exit exam and then there's hesi exit exam i did take the hesi version so this video is how i studied for the hesi exit exam um to kind of explain the exit exam is basically like you know how when you take the entrance exam for nursing school which would be the hesi or the ts t-e-a-s i don't know how to say it um that's your entrance so then this exam is your exit like exit out of nursing school um so it's basically like the NCLEX but it's like a little bit more like it's harder um and it's basically like to make sure like that like when like it's basically the school does it to make sure like when you do graduate um you're gonna pass the NCLEX basically that's the reason they do this exit exam because you know like if you graduate and you don't pass the NCLEX um it kind of goes back to the school so in order to graduate you have to pass this exit exam or else you do not graduate or like they make you like retake it like the next semester uh, my school gave us gives us two opportunities to pass the exit exam so like i said thankfully i passed it on the first try i'm so thankful for it um because we only got two opportunities to pass it so yeah so basically if you don't pass it you kind of don't graduate it's like your like i said it's your exit out of nursing school so you have to pass it so i want to say i want to begin saying um and make a schedule like you should be able to know when you're going to take your exit hopefully your school tells you i kind of i didn't know the exact date i was going to take the exit but i knew like it was going to be the first week of february so i prepared myself for two months so whether you have two months one month i would say average one month is okay um to study for it i took two months because i had the opportunity to do so um but i would say make a schedule so grab a calendar and you were gonna do a, like a schedule so a calendar like this week i'm gonna go over cardiac this week i'm going to go over respiratory this week i'm gonna go over peds this week i'm gonna go over ob maternity this other week i'm gonna go etc etc psych um so i would say start with your weakest subjects uh because that way you have more time to review for it, and then closer to the exam go over your weak subjects um that is my number one tip like make your schedule make sure you stick to it as well and that's like make sure it's at least a month i mean i know i study for two months some of my classmates studies for one month one of my classmates studies for two weeks so it just honestly depends how you are but i would say at least a month to study for your exit oh like i would say at least like grab like a calendar like right now we're in may so i just got may and like you know you could put like this week i'm gonna go over cardiac this week respiratory this week peds ob psych etc etc so make a schedule so my second tip would be to do so many practice questions like as many practice questions as you can i think that is the main most important thing that you can do practice questions even for the NCLEX when you once you begin studying for the NCLEX everybody tells you just do practice questions practice questions as many as you can um so i think that is the most most important thing to do practice questions like the most important tip that i'm going to give you is practice questions 
Um, I'm gonna tell you what I did for practice questions. I actually used the program Your Best Grade. Um, let me try to look. So it's called HESI Exam Steady Your Best Grade. It's um, specifically for the HESI Exit Exam, um, whoever created this. I forgot the name of the person, but um, they did it specifically to pass your exit exam. Um, I think it was $97 for a whole year. And um, if you don't pass your exit on the first try, I think they guarantee, like they guarantee you're gonna pass your exit on the first try. And I think if you don't pass it the first try, they like give you your money back because it's guaranteed you're gonna pass if you use their program. So I used that. I did 150 questions every single day up to my exam. 150 okay that's what i did it doesn't work for everybody i'm just gonna tell you what i did um and closer to the exam i started doing 200 questions so i did that for two months every single day i did questions like i said like if you do cardiac one week i would do 150 questions every single day for cardiac and um once the like subjects that like i saw were like my weaknesses I will go into like the book, like um, the NCLEX book or like there's a HESI book. Um, I would go into it and just read pertaining to that subject. Um, so with the questions, the most important thing about that I say, like the most important thing is to do questions. But what I mean is like you have to read the rationale. So whether you get the question wrong or you get the question right, you have to read the rationale. like. If you get it right, you know the information, but still read the rationale because knowing why each answer choice is wrong and why each answer choice is correct is going to help you. That is like the main thing that I feel like helps you with the practice questions, like reading the rationales because every time you read it and you realize, okay, this answer is wrong because blah, blah, blah. This answer is correct because blah, blah, blah. Like it sticks in your head. So when you're taking the exam, you're like, oh no, like this cannot be the right answer. You start to eliminate process of elimination because you're like, oh no, this answer cannot be right because so-and-so. So reading rationals is the most important thing to do when you're doing these practice questions. Like you cannot just do the practice questions and go on. Like, no, you have to read your rationals for every single one. That's what I did. Like I read the rationals for every single one of my questions, um, whether I got it right, wrong and or sorry, whether I got it wrong or whether I got it correct, I read it all the time. So that's the most important tip I would say. So I'm gonna go show you guys the website. So, so this is the website. It's called Your Best Grade HESI Exam Study. That is the website. Um, so I like it because it has like HESI exit practice. So these practice tests are like exactly how the exit will be. It has 160 questions because that's how much, how many questions are in the HESI exam. Um, so these are like practice tests. Like you can take these maybe closer to the day of the exam because it's literally like a mimic like of the actual exam. Then you have, this is what I use the most, test creator because like I said, like you can create like the subjects you want. So like, for example, this week I was doing like critical care. I will put critical care if I was doing dosage cow, fundamentals, or if I was doing management, maternity, med search. This is where it like comes to cardio, you know, respiratory, neurologic, <laughs> Sorry, I don't know how to say that. Um, patho, peats, um, farm, all the drugs. So psych, and then here you could put like all formats, you could pick all questions, your unused questions, incorrect. Um, and then you put how many questions you want and you generate the test. So let's see. I'm just gonna put 20. I'm not even gonna do it, but. So and see it takes you here and like I'm just gonna guess so I could show you what I mean so I'm just gonna put whatever and then you put see it tells you like why the answer was why the correct answer is C and then choice A and B tells you why A and B is not correct why D is not correct so yeah read the rational
Lastly, I use Mark Clemick's lectures on YouTube. I did every single one of them prior to the exam and I feel like it, he really helps you like know important things and how to memorize them, like important things that will be in your NCLEX or your um, HESI exit. So I went through all 12 lectures and I think it helped me a lot. So yes, those are the things I did to pass my exit. Um, I hope it was really helpful to you guys. I hope it will be helpful. I would say if you're close, you're about to take your exit or you're going to begin to study, I want to wish you the best of luck. I'm going to say if you put the effort in it, if you actually study, like you're going to pass the exam, okay? Like God didn't bring you this far to leave you here. That's what I always say. So trust yourself. Do not second guess yourself. Your first answer choice, like do not change it. Like it, they always say like your first instinct is the correct answer. Do not change your answer choice. Um, and well, yeah, you got this. And I would say congrats because you also made it this far. You're about to exit. You're about to finish nursing school. And I'm very proud of you. And I just hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope it's helpful. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <sighs> I promise I will try to do more videos. I think my next video I'm going to do like interview questions um, that I got like when applying to jobs. So thank you guys. Hope you guys find this helpful.